Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your angel and spirit guide message reading for you. Now, if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. So let's dive right in now, Taurus, and see what the cards have to say. Do note that none of this that this reading isn't dated because I am of the firm belief that whenever spirit wants you to stumble across this message, whenever your angels want you to stumble across this message, is the exact time that it will find you. All right, so I'm going to start with your spirit animal guide cards, and this will be your spirit animals for this time, also kind of like your totem animals. So let's see here. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. Ooh, this one right here. Ooh, the lion spirit. Oh, I like that for you. And this one right back here. And the squirrel spirit. Your chakra cards. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Angel. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Show me clearly. 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 This one right here. Ooh. So creativity. Oh, okay. Abundance and peace. Of course, let me move these closer together. So you have your sacral chakra, you have your root chakra, and you have your crown chakra. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. There, show me clearly. Fantastic, okay. So at the center of it all is the Two of Swords. It's at the heart of this reading. You are crowned by the King of Swords. It's an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. You then have the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords. There's something about this time period that you're going to be taking very seriously. The Page of Swords, something is resting very heavily on your mind. The Queen of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The Five of Swords. The Strength card, a Leo Energy. There you are, Taurus, shining through right at the heart of it all. All you are represented by the Hierophant in the Major Arcana, which in this deck is called the Guide. And if any of these decks speak to you or call to you, they're all listed in the description box below. And then we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you. This is an intense time where spirit is really talking about, and your angels, your angels actually most definitely are really talking about your mind. They're going to help you move through and kind of guide you to the place that you need to be. But there are going to be things that come up, roadblocks that come up where you're sitting there and you're like, Am I moving the right way? Do I know what it is that I want? And the fact of the matter is you do. Most definitely. You're crowned by the King of Swords. It this can be this can be being a bit impetuous, impetuous during this time, where you're like, I know what I want, I know what I desire, I'm cutting to the chase, this is it. You can also feel very much during this time kind of like just the facts. You want to know just the facts. There's a decision that you're making, you're at a crossroads of your existence, you're going to find a new road opens up, but right now you're looking at things and saying, just the facts, show me what I need, show me what I want to know. And it's not only... 
what you want to know. It's what you need to know to be able to move forward. There's something here where, like, you, you are. You're at this crossroads. And here, with the Lion Spirit, with the strong Leo presence within this reading, which is a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd, it says, be generous of spirit. Be generous with what you desire to create, to accomplish, and to cultivate within your life and within yourself. Be generous, be strong, be firm, and, you know, and don't don't doubt yourself because that's also going to be a theme during this time where like you're walking away from something you know it's not right for you but as you walk away you're going to think oh my gosh did I make the worst decision of my life you know am I doing the wrong thing and it can just be walking away from a way of thinking a way of understanding things you know just something here where you're like okay I need to stop and by doing so you might feel as if your whole world's going to turn upside down. And I can assure you that even if your whole world does turn upside down, it's actually for the better. It's kind of like the weight of the world will be lifted off your shoulders. And that's why you need the spiritual sp strength. You need to be generous of spirit to move forward in your grace, in your glory, because you have the squirrel spirit right here, which says, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in what you desire. Believe in what you want. Now with the lion and the squirrel spirit, know that when you see these animals during this time period, this is going to be spirit reminding you, this is going to be your angels most definitely reminding you of this message of being generous of spirit and of believing in yourself because there's something very small here that you want to cultivate, that you want to create, that you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can really expand this. I can move forward. I can, you know, from a small seed grows a mighty oak. And that's going to be kind of like your mantra for this time from a small decision or what can seem like a small decision will grow something mighty, something beautiful, something unbelievable, something empowering. And that's what you're embracing here. Now, there's also going to be this huge sense of creativity moving you forward with the sacral with the sacral chakra. So here, creativity, the sacral chakra also represents flexibility, inspiration, your relationships, karmic patterns. And I see that definitely with the five of swords. You're really seeing karmic patterns or patterns within your DNA, kind of like, well, my mother was always like this and my grandmother was always like this. So I'm going to be like this or I have to be like this or I'm like this because of this. You're breaking patterns and you're breaking either DNA patterns or you're breaking karmic patterns to really move yourself forward, set yourself free. And as you do so, your creativity is shining. Now, you're creative, Taurus. People look at earth sign energies and they think, okay, stable, secure, you know, down to earth. But you're astoundingly sensual too. And you need to embrace that sensuality during this time, during the sense of, you know, what you touch, what you feel, what you let into your life is going to be very important to you. But it's also going to be where you draw your creativity and how you move yourself forward. Because there is a sense of abundance around your root chakra. There's... This chakra represents family, holistic healing, you know, grounding, balance, stability. It's survival and it's truth. It's kind of like you are embracing your abundance and your abundance is for your personal survival. You're here, not, it's not just survival, but it's thriving is what I'm seeing. It's not just simply surviving, doing what needs to be done. It's thriving. It's engaging. It's being empowered. It's, you know, having something beautiful really walk into your life. And it's not going to be that like, you know, a knock goes on your door and all of a sudden a gift comes your way, though it could, but I'm not really seeing it being like, oh my gosh, something unexpectedly marvelous happens. I see you as having to fight for it. I see you and I know you're going to sit there and say, why do I always have to fight? Okay. Because that's what life is. And I know people get mad and they say, no, life isn't about fighting. Life is about things happening, you know, kind of serendipitously, just falling into place. Sometimes, sometimes things just fall into place. But if you're not actively pursuing, okay, if you're not actively going, actively going after it, then no, the universe isn't going to know that's what you want, even if you say it, but by your actions, you don't go after it. So here, action, desire, passion, and those are going to be your key points to bringing you abundance, clearing and, and clearing and channeling your root chakra along with your sacral chakra, releasing negative sexual energy, you know, hurt relationships, you know, past pains, past sorrows from this life, from past lives. I'm actually seeing it as really freeing you. And this then moves you to peace. This moves you to the crown chakra where you are being crowned 
by peace. This is what you want. You want the clarity, peace, the connection with a higher power, a connection with your higher self, a sense of moving forward in glory and in understanding the I am presence. I am worthy of peace. I am worthy of beauty. And as you do so, wisdom comes around you and is born of you. Now, there's a lot going on, again, when it comes to the mind. Your mind is going to be brilliant during this time. You're going to need time to think things through. You also might find that you want to make, you know, kind of snap decision, yeah, quick fire decisions during this time. Don't. Don't do that because you're going to wind up messing things up because you right now are at a crossroads. And yes, sometimes you're going to say to yourself, I just have to act. I just have to act. I just have to go. I just have to do. This is what needs to be done. But with the two of swords, you're going to see that, yes, you're standing on the precipice of something. You believe that there is one road and there is another road. And that's the only way that you can move forward. You're going to see that more opens up. You're going to see that by looking at what you truly want, you're going to kind of combine the two or as you're really calling on yourself, as you're seeing your power, as you're knowing your truth, new avenues are going to open your way. So start down one path. Yes, most definitely. But then know that as you're moving, as you're building, as you're understanding, you're going to be taking more, you're going to be taking another path or knowing a deeper truth that opens up an option that you hadn't thought was possible. And this leads you to the guide. This is you. You are the Hierophant in the Major Arcana, the guide in this tarot deck. And this is being guided forward by your experiences by your understandings, by your passions, by your desires, by knowing what you have worked through, knowing what you want, knowing the way that you want to move forward, also knowing what you are never doing again. There is something here, Taurus, where you're saying, you know what, no more. I'm not doing this again. I'm done with this. And now I need to move forward because you are moving forward in boldness and in beauty. And by truly embracing yourself, your power, your understanding, your passion, your determination, the essence of you, and not being apologetic for it. It's not saying, oh, I'm sorry, this is me. You know, we tend to do that, especially if we think outside of the box, especially if we're not cookie cutter people. You know, as we embrace our passions, our desires, we tend to apologize for it. No more. No more. Now it's time to say, this is what I want. This is who I am, and I am determinedly moving forward. There's also greater wisdom, greater understanding that comes your way. As you do this, okay, you're the king of swords. I mean, air sign energy, yes, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming into play. There's a sense of knowing your mind. There's also a sense of being the actor upon the stage. People are going to be taking note of you during this time, seeing your mind, seeing what you desire, seeing what you want, seeing who you are. Okay, you have a beautiful mind. You have a beautiful way of connecting, all right? An eloquence and an elegance with words. But you're also going to want to cut to the chase. This isn't going to be a time where you really want to embrace small talk or meaningless things. This is going to be a time where you sit there and you're kind of like, I have been through so much. I have learned so much. I am empowered. I am emboldened. And I am using that knowledge, that understanding, that pride, that determination to move me forward to slice through doubts and fears, to keep on going. There can be a sharp tongueness to you during this time where you are either just cutting to the point or you could be cutting people off, you know, kind of thing. To tone that back because all air signs have to be aware of that where they can be sharp tongued, where they can be kind of vicious in their words, where they can be, you know, kind of like stay on point. My mind is moving a hundred million miles a minute. Why isn't yours? So just be mindful that that is going to be part of you during this time because it's at your crown and it's at your root. And then here we have the strength card. This is being stronger than you had imagined you are. This is also knowing what you desire. This is sitting there and seeing everything that you have been through and calling on your strengths. Now, you could also have a strong Leo presence during this time, which is a time frame, again, of July 23rd to August 22nd, where you have a strong air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the strong Leo presence, the strong passion, the strong knowledge, but it can also be that your knowledge is fueling your passion because remember, air feeds fire. Air can also put out fire, so if you think about it too much, you might find that you leave you lose your passion for it. But there's something that you're going to want. And you have this very big connection with a lion during this time. So there is something here where either you're being told to be bold, to be brave, to be the king of the forest, or yeah, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Or it might be, you know, 
in the Wizard of Oz, the Cowardly Lion, of having all this strength, having all this power, but being so afraid that it's holding you back. So it can be that road too, which I know nobody wants to hear, but sometimes, you know, things just have to be said. And so here with the strength card, you are knowing your understandings. You are seeing your strength. You are looking at what you desire or you're seeing where your fears lie, you know, and you're seeing where you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone where you have to say, you know what, no more. And you're empowered and you're emboldened. And this moves you towards the page of swords. The page of swords is being a student of your mind. It's also messages that help bring an understanding, help bring a clarity, a cutting through doubts and fears, a learning. This is also a time where it is going to be a very good time to learn things, to take on new wisdom, new knowledge, really moving yourself forward. There is also a sense where I just seeing behind her, now I know it's part of her headdress, but I'm seeing behind her a bit of a clock where you might feel like you're being judged with time, where you have this spirit of an elder and the spirit of a youth coming together. And it can be that time is very hard for you during this time because during this period, because you're looking at things. And at one point, you see so much that you still have to learn. You still have to understand. But you're also seeing yourself as the master of the situation, as knowing your mind, knowing what you want, knowing what you desire, and really cutting through doubts and fears. So you might vacillate between being really assured of yourself and then not being. You can also have an air sign energy in your life that represents these two avenues. They can be really assured of themselves and really not. And you can be the one who's seeing this crossroads for them, seeing this way that doors open up. And you're being that guiding force for them. You're being that kind of greater wisdom, that Pope-like figure, because in the Rider Waite Smith deck, the Hierophant is represented by the Pope. And back in medieval times, you know, the Pope was the king of kings. He could tell kings what to do. So you are going to also see that during this time, your words have tremendous weight, tremendous power to them. So you can be helping somebody move forward, but I also see your determination, your words, your passion, your focus, the essence of you really moving things along. And it can be that you were hesitant before to really say, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is how I move, how I move forward and not and not making apologies for yourself, not apologizing for being who you are. So as you cut through doubts and fears, as you embrace your passion, do know you're going to feel like, wow, I have so much more to learn. And yet you're also going to feel like, wow, I really know what I'm talking about. I really know what I desire. Or it can be that on one road, you're, you're learning, you're building, you're understanding. And on the other road, you have this life experience, you have this passion, you have this understanding. So know there will be a push and a pull between the two of that, these. And it will feel kind of like a little bit of a yo-yo. You know, you go up and down and you're looking at things differently. So just know that this, this energy can be a little bit conflicting during this time, but it leads you to the two of wands. Now, the repeat of the number two here is talking about creativity, communication. So you have this way opening up. Your angels, because you see here with the wings, your angels are absolutely guiding you during this time. They're going to be cocooned around you. Know that you can't make a wrong choice. It might seem like a wrong choice, all right? But every decision that you make, your angels are guiding you. Your angels are saying, this is what you have to live through. It can be to build compassion. You know, it can be to build understanding. It can be just part of your life journey. I mean, believe me, I know that there are things in my life where I sit there and I'm like, I really wish I didn't have to live through this. I really wish I didn't have to go through this. But for some reason, I did. And so know here that nothing is by accident. And that is going to be very powerful for you because you're seeing a crossroads. You're seeing a gateway open up into beauty, into passion, into understanding, into what you desire. From the darkness comes the light. But you also, from the quiet comes the chaos. So you need the nighttime. You need the understanding, the reasoning to bring in the passion, the, the chaos okay, of the day. And you're going to see that as you look at your mind, Okay? As you take things in intellectually, you look at your passion, you look at your creativity, you look at your intuition about things, and you really start to see choices open up and doorways open up and ways to move forward that you hadn't expected, you hadn't anticipated. This leads you to the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. This is also here you have wisdom coming to you. You have the moon guiding you, divine guidance leading you forward. You have the cup right here of knowledge, of elixir, of the sense 
of building, understanding, and taking in something more. There is more around you. Emotionally, spiritually, you are going to be taking this in. Emotionally, you're going to be behind the scenes. That's going to be where you feel very comfortable. Intellectually, you're going to be center stage. Your mind is on point. You have kind of this raven claw quality about you where wisdom, knowledge is just absolutely profound. And emotional truth, emotional understanding is going to be something that is more personal, okay? You're going to want to not only know and implement your your passion, your happiness, your joy, but you're going to want to feel it to the root of your being. Others, others of you, Taurus, might very well have found that life has thrown a lot at you and it's made you hard-hearted or, you know, overwhelmed emotionally and thinking, okay, I'm not engaging the way that I want to. And Spirit is saying here that as you, you break through the web of doubt and fear, break through the web of, oh my gosh, I couldn't possibly, or I can't move forward this way, or, you know, this just isn't going to happen for me, or isn't going to work for me, or I'm not going to be able to get to where I want to be, you're going to see that fear starts to fall away. And you're going to start to see the things that have made you feel stuck, made you feel blocked, start to fall away. They they just do. And it's not all at once. It's going to be little by little. And it's as you embrace your intuition, as you embrace your understanding, which leads you to not feeling caught in the spider web of repetition, not being caught in this web of doubt and fear and, you know, looking at the crossroads and thinking, oh my gosh, I can't. There's so much more for me to learn. There's so much more for me to understand. I can't possibly move forward the way that I need to, the way that I want to. And spirit is saying, yes, you can. You're on the road to something great. You're on the road to greatness. And what's going to happen, and I hate to say this, but the five of swords, for me, that's a karmic pattern that comes up that is looking at these doubts, these fears, these things that you had thought, oh my gosh, you know, I've already, you know, I, I've dealt with this before. I'm not going to deal with it again. You know, I'm really moving forward. I'm really going after what I desire. Things are going to start coming back, not coming back in a way to stay, but you're going to start being challenged. And you might be saying, Dane, I don't want to be challenged anymore. How much more can I go through? That's a good question. You know, Mother Teresa said, we, God does not give us anything that we cannot handle. I just wish he didn't trust me so much. And it's not to get religious on people, but it's to really sit there and say, everybody feels that way. You know, why are you giving me more? Because divinity, spirit, the universe knows you can handle it and knows that this is the way that you're going to progress to something beautiful, to something absolutely breathtaking. And so here, yes, it's meeting with those challenges. It can't just be internally where you're meeting with those doubts and fears. You have a voice of somebody from your past, like kind of ping-ponging, ping-ponging through your head. And you're like, wow, wh- where did your voice come from? You know, why are you even here? Why are you making me doubt myself? You know, why am I doubting myself? And so you're walking away from this. You're walking away from this karmic, from this DNA pattern. And as you walk away, you see that there's more out there for you than you could have imagined. You see yourself climbing towards new heights. But you also see here, okay, the thing with, you know, climbing vines on stone is that they go into the roots, go into the water, right? So it starts to break away at the foundation of things. And so here, though beautiful, it doesn't have that beautiful foundation, that you would want it. It doesn't have that stability. And that's what you're seeing with something. Though beautiful, it's not going to have the stability that you want, the lastingness that you want. And so you're moving away. Or you're looking at things and saying, I once thought it was beautiful, but now it's not. And it's just not right for me. And you're going to have a tendency, really seriously, Taurus, to take this time very seriously. But with the Five of Swords at the ending, what you're seeing can be resolved and you have the repeat of the number five it can be resolved and it will be it will be resolved not necessarily quickly but with a a remarkable sense of ease not that it will be easy spirit is saying but it has this way of coming to a natural conclusion you have a way of being able to kind of organically find how to move forward what you desire what you're looking at the repeat of the the number eight, again, very serious time. You're going to take things very seriously, emotionally and mentally, which isn't going to be 
too, too good to, for you because you're going to want to really understand all of it and that can keep you stuck. Or you're going to be like, I have to have all the answers before I can move forward. And Spirit is saying here, be gentle with yourself. See the crossroads that your angels are guiding you for and guiding you towards and be that student, okay? Have a beginner's mind. Come at things with new eyes as you also come at things with the heart of a master, with the heart of somebody who has lived, who has understood. And it's kind of like, you know, becoming a master craftsman. You start off as an apprentice, which is the page, and then you end as somebody who can set up their own shop, who has great, you know, standing in the community. And that's what I'm seeing here. Having great standing within yourself, seeing your power, seeing your understanding, it leads you to understanding that you are stronger than you have ever thought you were. And look at that, you have three eights. So really divinity is saying here, you do go through a time of great understanding, you know, of great it's stubbornness. It's kind of like, okay, I need to move forward the proper way. I need to get to what I truly want. And so you will have times of just taking this time frame astoundingly seriously of looking at things and not giving yourself. Yeah, you even have eight when it comes to abundance. It's the time of working really, really hard, but not giving yourself the recognition, not giving yourself the break that you need. So make sure that you do that, that it's not all work and no play. Okay? You need that balance. You need that understanding to come in and really embrace your truth, your, your power, and seeing what makes you so astoundingly brilliant. Your subconscious message for this whole entire reading is the Six of Cups. This is something from your childhood moving you forward. This is looking at the many faces of your life. I love this. She's in a wedding dress, right? And doesn't traditionally a wedding dress symbolize a new phase in life? Okay, and you have a child here, you have a grown up, and you have grown ups. So it can be looking at the many faces of your life from your childhood or from your childhood forward or from the many faces that you saw those who raised you wear. And now you're looking at things new. It can also be a trauma that you went through and kind of the mess you had to wear in order to move forward and not being sure that you were ever good enough. So here there's there's kind of like a marriage to yourself, a coming into your power, your understanding, a, a purity of intention, but also a majesty of purpose and a mourning what once was and will not be again. But it's also a love for that inner child, a sense of, of peace and of harmony leading you forward. This leads you to your subconscious chakra message, which is personal power. Now, this is the solar plexus chakra, right? And this is the chakra of power, of inner strength, of mastery, of freedom, of self-esteem, of free will. And so listen to your gut. This is located slightly above your navel. Listen to your gut. Listen to your emotions. This is a time of self-discipline and courage, but not over-disciplining yourself, you know, not rigidity. Listen to your gut. That's the way spirit's going to be speaking to you. Your angels are wrapped around your heart. So listen to your emotional truth. And the way that your heart is impacting your mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So your heart is going to be impacting your mind here, Taurus, where your heart is going to be feeling one thing. Emotionally, you will be feeling one thing. And you are going to need to look at how that impacts the way you think, how that impacts the way you see a situation to move you forward because it is going to give you strength you didn't know you had, but it's also going to give you clarity you didn't know you needed. And this then leads you to your subconscious spirit animal message, which is the wolf spirit. And this says, turn knowledge into wisdom, which is what you're going to be doing this whole entire time. You're turning knowledge into wisdom and you're finding out that you are a heck of a lot stronger, a heck of a lot more determined than you had ever thought you were. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you, and I love you all. Bye.